Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Weathering Waves. We are continuing through the story here. In the last episode, we uh, were on our way to try to find General Jian over here in Is the that Highlands. One of our soldiers? So let's continue running through this area, fighting our way through, and see if we can get to the guy. Those soldiers, they are phantoms too. Watch out! The rhetoric brain's effects are worsening. We must proceed with caution. There, another wounded soldier. The street. Are you. Are you Yang Yang? What happened here? The thundering Mephis. I'm. I'm part of the Deso Rock Highland supply transport team. This is where our supply station is. We were on our way. Had to go through this tacit field. Thundering Mephis. In the end, I barely escaped. This place. It's dangerous. Well, yeah, we can see that. <laughs> Watch out! It's him, General. I guess we're about to have a boss fight or something. Thundering Mephis. We must bring it down to keep pushing forward. Here you go. One with the sounds. That wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Be gone! We did it! The thundering Mephis is a blend of countless fallen soldiers' reverberations. As long as more soldiers are still dying here, it will always return. Countless souls of our brave soldiers remain trapped in this rain to this day. General. Sorry. Honor to meet you. The honor is mine, Rover. Madam Magistrate and Tao Chi have informed me of your willingness to assist us. I should properly welcome you with Huang Lone's formalities, but as the current situation forbids that, I'll brief you on our plans as fast as possible. Okay. I've heard about your deeds from Madam Magistrate. You are a trustworthy ally, according to her. Here, Retroact Rain Antidote, developed by the Academy. Probably gonna need that. While the antidote cannot shield you from its effects entirely, it should at least lessen the hallucinations. But if I was a phantom, then? For someone to show up as a phantom in the retroact rain, two conditions must be met. Prior exposure to the rain and a deep connection to the affected area. You were found in the Gorges of Spirits only recently. And this is your first time setting foot in Jinjo, ruling out that possibility. Moreover, you possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thronodian. Jue prophesied about your arrival. I was told you'd come to the Norfall Barrens one day to reclaim your lost power from Overthrax. I'll do Overthrax? everything in my power to help you make that happen. Um, okay. What lost power? What lost power? Yes. Madam Magistrate might not be aware of this as it happened before she was appointed. On the day I was selected to be the next general, Jue told me this. Beneath the full moon, guide the returning one to confront Thranodian. From the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. 
And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something sure, off that would about be nice. that moon. We call it the Void <laughs> Plenilune. Once it fully takes shape, Overthrax, the Thranodian of War, would be reawakening soon. It is an ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. The Norfall Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. But we must act now. The Void Plenilune is already visible. We must contain the Thranodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become harder to deal with. I'm on it. Hold on. We cannot afford to rush the plan. We'll get into the specifics once we reach our base. So are we gonna? I was say, are we gonna I've run now? I'm taking care of all the tacit discords nearby on my way here. The path ahead should be relatively safe now. Keep going, and we'll reach the base soon. <clears throat> Okay, well, uh, sounds like they're working our way up towards some kind of a boss encounter here. What is this? So, tutorials, guidebook, oh. So what's new? Why is it still... oh. All these different things you're supposed to click to get rid of all of the highlighted stuff. Okay. Alright, that seems to have gotten rid of it. <clears throat> do, do, do. Well, he didn't get rid of enough of them, I guess. One with the sounds. Speeding up. There you go. That what? Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that what we have to fight? <laughs> it's gonna be this really big, massive, crazy thing. That looks like a dude to me. Overthrax's towering statue, built from repurposed weapons and debris, has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. <clears throat> okay. We managed to gravely injure it three years ago, making the statue sink into the water. And now it just resurfaced. Our enemy must be eager to strike. The Vanguard base is right up ahead. Let's hurry over. What is, why is she, why is her, what's the check mark next to her name? It's like, there's this check, there's just like, or a, an arrow or a check mark or something. Like, I don't, what is that? Oh, is it because that's ready? Uh, okay. Still learning the interface. <clears throat> Greetings, General. Master Jensen. I remember her, the monk or whatever. I didn't know I'd be seeing you here. Jun Chin recently arrived at our base with one of the supply delivery teams. <laughs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barons to a massive graveyard. Master once told me, life and death should follow a natural course. Countless brave souls have been trapped here by the evil powers of Overthrax. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the reviving Thranodian. But we must beware of the tacit discords, too. The Academy determined they were not native to the Norfall Barons. After analyzing their behavior, I believe the source of said power is none other than that statue. While the Overthrax is still weakened, we must seize the opportunity to act. With looming danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreaks and many of our units injured and unable to fight... I try to skip over some unnecessary sentences wherever possible wisely. to kind of push through the dialogue. Please. Join me in mapping out the strategic plan. One of the, 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 I think the biggest thing that irritates me about this game is not 
like I, I I know like some of these free-to-play games, people have issues with paying for things. I never pay for anything out of these games. The thing that's irritating me is just the fact that the dialogue takes forever to get through. Like they really they really needed to pare down, like be more succinct in what they were saying. I split all combat units into three <clears throat> factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar while the infantry team engages in close combat. We have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Okay. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfall Barrens. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfolk Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. Okay. <clears throat> but the terrain is treacherous, narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. On the other hand, our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. We must swiftly and safely I'm a big get fan our of that. strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, mm -hmm. and take down Overthrax in time. Rover. Let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. First, our ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Where should we deploy the ranged units? Why is it up to me? Just do the optimal thing. Um... I would say the smart thing for me seems like on the cliffs. <laughs> Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. It'll give them the this best way, range and keep them safe. cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? I mean, obviously, it would be nice to engage them from the flank, but I mean... We, we need to be the ones flanking because we need to we need to keep the guys we need to keep them the main force occupied while we run around and get to the boss. So I'm going to say from the now front. that the narrow terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation. The infantry will attack head-on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the special task force. All resonators with powerful abilities. <clears throat> they have superior mobility and combat skills. If the chance arises, they will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. What should the special task force do? Well, target the weak... Uh... I mean, I guess target the weak point in their weak point in their formation, flanking tactics. I mean, you would want to go around everything if at all possible, but we'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. This is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky but necessary move under our current circumstances. Thank you, Rover. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yue Hui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. Come on. Yes, sir. And I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Xin to create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Come on. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> this is the, like this is the, this is the most irritating part. Everything else is fine. Just the, is the dialogue the stuff is just really irritating. Barrier. Like, I, why can't I just go? Disruptor. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. 
Overthrack set it up to absorb frequencies in the Norfall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thranodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. <laughs> Greetings, General GM. Rover. How's the preparation going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established connection to the disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is the disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Okay. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? Uh. By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. The capital would want strict control over its use, I assume. Will they really approve our application? Magistrate and I have it covered. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baija, please fill us in. Yes. Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the disruptor, and our troops are doing their best to defend it. The disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit discords, with more of them slowly closing in. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor to recharge. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand the situation now. Rover, Yang Yang. Please go and secure the disruptor and fix its backup energy outlet. John Shin, please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. Let's get moving. Split up, I guess. <clears throat> All right, I think one of the things... <clears throat> okay. Um, I think one of the things that I probably need to pay more attention to is what my abilities actually do. Is there... Okay, so this is my Q ability, I think. Oh. Alright, whatever. <clears throat> Moving on. Let's continue towards whatever it is we're supposed to be doing over here. I like having a healer in the party. It makes things a little bit easier. Get over here as quick as we can. We'll fight off whatever we need to fight off. up here. I thought I was going to be able to just hop up and go, and go, but I guess not. You must be... Yang Yang, an outrider. General Jian sent us here to help. Those monsters have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack. We've blocked off access to protect our base. Please, they need your help. Okay. Down we go. The tacit discords are everywhere. They've cornered a soldier. Over there. He needs our help. What happened to my other character? Bad timing. Sounds come forth. One with the sounds. Strike from the shadow. Let me be your blade. Synchronization. I lost track of what I was doing there. Oh well. And I screwed that up too. Wow. The hour is upon us. Why did I waste that? That was stupid. Oh well. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay, we had this guy. Whoa, what the? 
one with the sounds. Let the winds roar. Synchronization. Hey! We should be safe now. I hope he's all right. Let's go check on him. Okay. General, is that you? No. No, it is not. <laughs> is that so? Great. We know how important this cannon is. We kept it safe. <laughs> Never let them have it. That sucks. Come on, come on. This reparation key. I may not see our victory in person. But please, please defeat that monster. For we us, will prevail. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Video game designers need to realize that you're not going to put enough drama in this like it's in the movies. We don't identify with these characters enough for it to actually yes. emotionally affect us. We so stop win. forcing us to sit and watch please. this stuff. Just let us get through the content, please. Especially low level stuff like this. Like when General What's His Face dies, if he dies, fine. Okay, that's that's different. But you're trying to turn this low level person into, some, into somebody that we care that they died. I, I don't care that they died. Moment of resonance. Disruptor's 50% charge. Enemies ahead. Watch out, Rover. No. Disruptor's at 80%. Their offense is weakening. Hold on just a little longer, Rover. Get off the fence, please. Thank you. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Disruptor's fully charged. Rover, let's take out the remaining tacit discord together. I'm gonna do my best to swap back and forth as efficiently as possible. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. Let me be your blade. Tempest, precipitant. Let the winds roar. I didn't mean to do that. That was stupid. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. I sense your weakness. That works. <clears throat> One stupid button press uh, is enough to General. waste something. I just well done. The rain has stopped. General, the Retroact rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Norfall Barrens. The disruptor is fully charged and ready to fire. But... It takes a lot of energy to fire the disruptor. If we missed... I'm not going to be able to do it again. This is our only chance. Greetings. Can you hear me? As the Magistrate of Jinjo, I've obtained the approval to use the Disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision, I will bear the responsibility. I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle, whatever it may be. General, Rover, please march on. 
May victory prevail the lasting night. Thank you for your trust, Madam Magistrate. No need for that, General. We've always shared the same goal, you and I. Attention all units. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. Target the Norfall Barons. Defend Jinjo at all costs! Not sure how you could miss something that big. Alright, we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing that now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click the join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a membership but would like to support the channel, you can always leave YouTube's version of a tip with that thanks button. Direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you're enjoying the adventure so far. Be sure to come back for the next episode, and I'll see you then.